매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 내 맘을 고백하려고 타이밍만 보는 나 그런 나를 안 보면 왜 그러냐고 묻네 너 때문에 Look at your phone and sighed once again reading the text which was dropped by your father an hour ago. Go and meet him at 6 this evening. When he said that you're going to marry the guy he chose for you, he meant it. But the fact that you know this is very well something which is making you scared of what is going to happen when you arrive at the date venue. Not only he is the ex of your cousin, but also the same guy whom you rejected when you were in high school. This is going to be tough for you and also for him. We were sitting in the library of your school and were preparing for your upcoming test. You grabbed your head in your palm when you felt the pain striking for the nth time in the day. Looking at the piled up books, you huffed and started to study again when you felt someone standing behind you. Soon, a cup of chamomile tea was placed on the table and you looked at the hand which placed it gently on the table. Turning around, you saw him. There was no doubt he looked handsome as hell. Girls in the school were crazy for him. And why won't they be? I mean, look at the chest this man owns. Yes, everyone but you. Actually, to be honest, you liked him like other girls as well. But you never were going to confess to him like any one of them. You are happy alone with your books. Not that you have any option. Even a point decreases in your grade and you have to face your father's wrath. And he will get another chance to praise your cousin, Harry. You grabbed all your books and started to walk out of the library which was obviously empty otherwise you might have been getting looks by everyone else for speaking so loudly. You gulped looking at his hand which was holding your wrist. You looked around and saw your cousin entering the library with a book in hand. You instantly jerked his hand away from yours and looked at him in horror. Jango was staying a little aback when you suddenly jerked his hand. And you walked out of the library. You clutched the book tighter in your hands and closed your eyes as tears were already welling up in your eyes. You rejected him. Yet again, you were defeated by the fear of your father. You again lost the happiness in your life and chose darkness. You rejected him because he really likes him too. In no way in the universe if she likes him, she will let you be with him. So to protect yourself from the future hurt, you are hurting yourself in present. You snapped your eyes open and took a deep breath. Looking at his picture, which your father sent to you were reminded of all those moments with him in high school. And how he was the main topic to write in your diary. Isn't it just unfortunate how you have to get married to the ex of your cousin? You liked him too. But at last, she was the one who got to be the girlfriend of him. Although both of them were secretive about their relationships as Jemu did not like it. Saying so, you gathered up the courage and got up from your seat to make your way outside the company to the date to face it all again. You entered inside the restaurant which was booked by your father and looked around. The interior was really good and you spotted a familiar looking person. Walking up to the table, you stood in front of him and he got up from his chair after he saw you. Jungkook nodded his head in your direction and forwarded his hand for a handshake. You took his hand in your hold and shook his hand. You girl when you felt a cold glare on your face. You nodded your head and chanted in your head, "Don't let your guards down." 
We changed your expression to cold as well and said, Jungkook pulled his hand back and motioned you to sit on the chair. You pulled the chair and sat on it and Jungkook took his seat as well.